What's the crack lads? Welcome to another Thursday preview and we are back looking at what players could come here tomorrow. So obviously every week we get player of the week. Now it could be a bit of a switch up. Obviously last week we did have the new update with the new season starting but I'll get into that in about maybe two minutes towards the end of this video because you know we do get the tease every Wednesday now as to what players are coming and look some people get hyped about the player of the weeks I think they're fun for Road to Glory. If you're staying free to play, the player of the week's going to be really nice because you get some really good boosters. And these are the players that it's looking like it will be. So Konami always give the teaser here. And it doesn't take long for people on Discord and Twitter to put on their detective hats. So this is what it looks like to be coming. Shout out to CTE Football again for the mock-ups here. It looks like Endo, Son and Guler. Now I'm actually... Yeah, I'd be a bit surprised if Guler comes. I mean, obviously, he would be a really, really nice card to have because he released way back with a free card and he was a beastly card that you could get. Endo's had a couple of player of the weeks at the moment, but this is what it's looking like with the Sun Booster and the Endo Booster. Again, this is not 100% confirmed, but it's probably 99.9% .9 confirmed unless they do a double switch and unless they bring out a different pack tomorrow, which we'll get into in a second, because they've already, we already know what packs are going to be coming out. And I want to talk about, as well, Eds, I want to talk about a couple of bits and pieces that I hope to see tomorrow as well that are not card related. So we'll get into that in a second. But yeah, it looks like those three cards could come. As I said, I'll keep this video short and sweet. Other wor in, other wo in other words, in other words, otherwise, we are going to take a look at some young players that actually might finally get a player of the week card. I mean, I think that these three are definitely, definitely uh, due one. I mean, they've been having good seasons. Maldini scored a goal again uh, in his last match. I mean, Lemine Yamel has been absolutely amazing for Barcelona. He looks like an absolute beast. And of course, Monaco's wonder kid as well. So there's a lot of young players that they could actually bring into this game and give really nice cards. I think personally, that's where they need to go with the player of the weeks. The boosters are a start, but imagine having like a mid to end game level player that is like 16 or 17 that you could train up really, really nicely. You know, it'd be nice. Um, well, not train up, but you could put into your squad and build around, so to speak. You also have these three that I'm thinking could come as well. These are kind of really kind of out there picks. Um... I haven't really like checked the massive results last week or whatever. I've been super busy, but this could be a couple of players that come as well. I mean, Cadiz had a fantastic result in their last match as well against Atletico Madrid. So I do feel like that it's always kind of hard to, to pick where they will put other players that are not bigger, bigger names. Now, we also know as well that we're going to be getting these national team attackers. Th th these are coming, lads. These are definitely coming within season five along with other players, along with big-time cards as well. I reckon we probably won't see them tomorrow, but I would be pleasantly surprised if we are. And also, these big-times as well, they are not only in the database, but we might have thought they were coming last, you know, Monday, a couple of days ago, but they didn't. How we know this is, if you haven't seen any previous videos, it is actually up on the official eFootball Konami website. Now, this is up where they talk about the se season duration that's going to be ongoing for another month, but they're going to be obviously replacing the players and they're named there. We should also have co-op back as well. I reckon that that will come back. Again, lads, look, this is kind of into different territory now because of the way they've done the split season for season five. They hadn't done that before. It used to be for the last couple of months, you had your events and your content uh, refresh on the Monday and the Thursday. Monday was always your epics or your big time boosters. And then obviously Thursday was going to be your player of the week. Now they've kind of switched it up a bit. So it'll be interesting to see what they do going forward, whether they'll open up these cards for the full seven days on a different date. But my biggest thing, lads, is honestly, we saw like, you know, anyone that keeps an eye, I don't play EAFC, I don't play FIFA, I haven't played it properly in years. I've given it a try. It's not for me personally, the gameplay. Presentation wise is unbelievable. Um, but for me, I do prefer the actual on pitch action in eFootball and I just prefer to stream that. But I do keep an eye on what the competition is doing for Konami, what the comp, you know, to make this scene as competitive as possible. It's good that there's a couple of, you know, uh, games in the ring so to speak and I do I must say man that this this kind of like transparency with the pitch notes will we get actual patch notes within eFootball and say right the new update is coming next week or the week after what date it's coming you know an actual proper roadmap for season five I'm not talking about a season roadmap for season uh, six or for eFootball 2025 
But it would be refreshing for them to just say like, okay, right, this is what we've already announced. This is what's coming next Thursday or Thursday the 21st or Thursday the 28th or whatever Thursday it ends up being. Um, it would be really, really nice. But let me know your thoughts, lads. Let me know your thoughts and I will see you tomorrow on live stream.